and welcome back if you come from the uh, previous tutorial that made a 3d fire particle system uh, but if you just arrived hey you know you you might want to check it out because I'm not gonna break down every single step and maybe like it's also like had a useful information regarding uh, like troubleshooting for your particle system but anyway I'm going to what I'm going to do here is I'm going to repurpose that 3d shader that we already made uh, into uh, 2d particle system and apply it to 2d particle system that's what i'm trying to say now uh without further ado let's just go ahead and start let's start a new scene create a new scene you know 2d scene i think i'm gonna save this one and call this one particle 2d uh right i think that would work now let's add a particle system gpu particle 2d now i'm not going to break down every single thing how i made the particle system but i already saved this one fire particle 2d but yeah, just drag it over here. Now it's emitting like this simple pixel uh, going up. But maybe let's uh, talk about the uh, the settings that I uh, ended up with. First one is em emissions shape. Uh, I set it to <laughs> I set it to sphere, and then the radius is ten, which is what I want. And then particle flex. Uh, it's just disable the Z. I think if this is really important because, again, I'm just going to repeat the same thing. If you want to use angle uh, minimum or angle maximum here, if you want it to be effective, then you need to uh, check one of these boxes. You know, it's either disable Z, align Y, or rotate Y. But in this case, I think 2D because we don't really care about the Z axis. So we can just disable Z for that matter. And then the direction, it's set to Y, set to 1 because it's going up and minus 1 is going down oh no it's actually one is going down but the thing that is really important is the gravity set it to my uh, negative 700 uh initial velocity set it to 100 and the direction is one i think you can just set it to minus one and it will make it faster going up if that's what you want then go ahead but in this case i want the particle to go down first and then the gravity takes the the rest uh, initial velocity uh, initial velocity is done and then angular velocity set to minus 40 and 40 the minimum and the maximum it, angular velocity it's function as uh, the rotation motion for the particle itself the singular particle and then radial acceleration is set the minimum set to 100 and the maximum set to 60 in this case uh this one is giving like this spiral motion um yeah that's the function of that and then angle uh, minimum and maximum in this case just the the way the sprite rotate or the particle rotates in the beginning of yeah when it spawns uh the minimum is one, uh, minus 180 and the maximum is 180 which like uh, give you the four circle you can also select to zero and 360 i don't know why i said it that way but i don't know it's just look convenient scale of course i just i don't want uh too many how do i say uh, randomization uh, so I just set the minimum and the maximum to the same amount which is three and then the, uh, the curve texture is just to make the fire going from small big and then going small with yeah, curved um, you know motion or curved scale that matter and the last one is color this one is just to fade things in and out and set the color from you know a little bit darker to a little bit lighter and then dark again so that's the texture the gradient texture that i'm using and also the alpha channel there uh will how should i say like affect the the display of the particle itself anyway with that particle system explanation done uh let's just assign a texture you know so we don't we're not gonna use the flame texture like this one but we're going to instead use the plain white box as you might see over there and yeah and we're gonna render the texture on the shader or in the shader i don't know what the correct position there so he's going to assign material a new shader material and then let's just copy from previously made uh, particle system in this case so we're gonna use this one uv scroll uh two let's copy that uh notice this one is 3d so just paste it over here nothing really happened why uh, because we haven't changed some settings but before you change some settings you need to make it unique so you click on that make unique click on the click on the shader itself and uh, in the mode tab over here or mode drop down menu choose canvas item and you know now you see like some nodes are disconnected and we just need to reconnect that reconnect and then this one also reconnect and 
this one also reconnect uh, nothing really happened yet and why because we haven't assigned anything for example like emission strength i think we can just omit that or just delete that because we don't have an emission option or emission output here so we just uh, delete that entirely now let's add our noise texture fire no noise to the noise texture tab or slot and then go to the flame 4 to the flame 4 texture there wow okay let me see what else uh we haven't put input this one as well so there you go uh, or not input but connect that one so make sure everything is connected or reconnected now let's play along with or play around with the uh, noise scroll because that's what make our particle lively and there you have it oh and don't forget to reconnect the alpha channel itself right you can also always play around with uh option maybe you can uh customize it like oh i don't need to add the particle there just once is enough oh i haven't reconnected that to alpha there you go and then maybe play around with the contrast make it two uh and also you need to add like world environment to make it more look more polished for sure and then create environment your environment and maybe add glow and uh the bloom and set it to additive and then oh yeah forgot the background it should be canvas canvas right oh it's too bright density set it a little bit low bloom there you go and just again you can play around with the modes here the blend modes you can add you know it looks like that or maybe just set it to mix uh, experiment with what you want uh, for it to look like and maybe pre multiply alpha so certainly use that you know so it avoids like white uh, I don't know like make it the color gone but in this case I think for the demonstration like add uh, looks better and of course you can just copy this one and then uh, what is it use the same uh, particle system and then we're gonna use or reuse our material and set to new texture and just make new material make unique and then we, 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 we where is it shadow parameters we set it to our spark group so there you have it there you have it for uh, repurposing 2d or excuse me 3d for 2d particle system is not that hard all you need to do is just reconnect everything that is disconnected and also i think i made a mistake uh in the previous tutorial that it will have a problem when you don't enable this repeat option so if the default is not repeatable or the the texture is not repeatable then it will become a problem like you see right now but you need to don't forget to check it to enable uh so yeah that's for the troubleshooting if you have some problem if you have a question for sure don't forget to uh, you can just leave it in the comment and i'll try to answer it uh you know as my understanding and some people help a lot you know thank you so much for answering question of other commenters you know leaving a like also will help don't forget to subscribe do all that jazz keep making games keep making vfx thank you so much my name is Arvidanga. sending out bye bye